Our top story at five, a teen reported missing in Johns Creek. Hours later, a young woman's body is found near a pool in Roswell. Could it be that missing teenager? 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live at the apartment complex. You know, Doug, they found the woman's body next to the pool, but it doesn't seem like she drowned. No, they're saying that the uh, that the circumstances of her death are certainly suspicious and that she suffered some kind of trauma. Police have been here for about the last seven hours. Uh, if you zoom past me, you'll be able to see a crime scene investigation unit uh, as well as some uh, yellow tape back behind there. We're outside of a place called the Atlantic Newtown Apartments. It's off of Nesbitt Ferry Road. Nesbitt Ferry Road happens to be the dividing line, the boundary separating the cities of Roswell and the city of John Creek. Well, it's awful. It's awful. Yeah. A maintenance worker found the young woman's body in plain sight about 10 a.m. and called Roswell police. The body was found uh, lying next to the pool. Hours earlier, nearby Johns Creek police had gotten the report of a missing teenage girl. Johns Creek officers showed up to help Roswell PD process the crime scene and to try to determine how the victim died. I have a teenage daughter myself, so I mean, yeah, that's definitely something to worry about. There were some obvious signs of trauma. As I mentioned, it is going to be a suspicious death investigation. But with an autopsy still likely hours away, police were unwilling to say with certainty whether the death was a homicide, nor were they willing to say with certainty that the victim was the same person reported missing Tuesday. What we do know is that the female is local, uh, somewhere from the North Fulton County area. And something to clarify here, the person from Johns Creek who uh, was reported missing was actually reported missing this morning, though it appeared that she left her home overnight and never came back. Roswell police tell me that uh, the medical examiner is now handling the, uh, the part of the investigation which determines whether it is a homicide or what the cause of death is. Uh, and the medical examiner is also leading the effort to uh, fully identify the young woman whose uh, identity uh, at this point still is unknown to us. Back to you. All right, Doug, thank you. Nesbitt Ferry is sort of a cut through to Holcomb Bridge Road as you make way to Roswell.